Hello and welcome to our little video tour of our recent acquisition here in the Tehachapi Mountains. It's one and a half acres with a fantastic view up around 5,400 feet in elevation. There's kind of an overview showing you the sh size and shape of the property. It's 170 feet along the street and about 600 plus feet back. Here's a little Google Earth just to give you a sense of the contours of the area. I think right about there is the closest end and that, that's the far end shooting back so you're about running back along that ridge uh, and it gets back I would say the last fifth of the property probably is where it starts to slope down again it's probably where you would want to build I would think so you get full advantage of that view this is a part of the um, Bear Valley Springs Homeowners Association it's a very large gated community um, they offer quite a lot much more than the ordinary uh, HOA does they have a number of lakes fishing shooting ranges golfing equestrian center they have a huge pool they have you just need to go on their website Bear Valley Springs HOA uh, to see the full extent of all the activities and clubhouse and all the things that they offer it's not one of the cheapest uh, it's about hundred and some dollars a month but you get quite a lot for it this is a very nice house if you drive through this area these are all nice to upper class uh, middle class uh, houses there we go some more of the view there's looking across the valley at the neighboring property now this property is being offered at a great discount um, but I should tell you in 2004 if you check the records this property sold for $25,000 Two years later, in 2006, it sold for $60,000. Now that was before the crash in 2008 and property value has gone down. They haven't come back to the same levels. But you shouldn't think that just because this property is being offered for such a low price that that's all the property is worth. This is a bargain property and it'll move pretty quickly, I think. Here's a little overview here. Oh, here goes the drone out of control. <laughs> I'm still getting the hang of it. Now that's the far end of the property, probably where I would build if it was me. I'd put my patio over the edge there, uh, take full advantage of the view. I think I mentioned this is at about 5,400 feet in elevation, and you're looking down on the 58 freeway. It's a beautiful area. If you drive through this um, gated community, uh, you're going to find middle class houses and you're going to find some pretty upper middle class houses. They maintain uh, this area well. I've only heard good things about the HOA. Now that's the far end of the property at the high point. There you've got that berm. I would probably push a lot of that earth back to help create the pad towards the back of the property. Like all the properties in this area, you're always gonna deal with a little bit of uh, slope, but this is a very buildable parcel. Yeah, it's beautiful. I'm just showing that fire hydrant because that's across the street. Just to let you know there's a fire hydrant there, but also I think that marks uh, the end of the property closest to um, the end of the street. If you go about 170 feet in the other direction, uh, you'll find pretty much the, the boundary mark. Not, there's not a boundary marker there that I was able to spot. And I'm not a surveyor, but having studied the plat maps and walked it and measured it, uh, I think that gives you, if you go to, to walk there, you'll find that the marker I was using was that across the street, the end of the house, not the property, but the neighbor's house across the street, pretty much marks uh, that far end of the property. Now I've walked this property and I gotta tell you, I, I'm not sure, but I think there's some deer trails through here. so. 
There's a lot of deer in this area. I've seen a number of deer just uh, uh, on people's lawns. So there we go, that's the property. If you have any questions, or just a little curious, you can give me a call. And I'd be happy to or text me or email me or just visit my website. Be happy to answer any questions you have. Um, I think that video and the pictures gave you a pretty good sense of what the property's like. If you want to go visit it, give me a call.